The business of non-conference play is done for Ohio University football, and business was good. It's time to take on some unfinished business in Mid-American Conference play. The league starts this Saturday for the Cats. It's 4-0 Ohio and 0-4 University of Massachusetts. Hi, everybody. I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Bobcats. Welcome to Bobcat TV's Game Week preview of the Bobcats and the Minutemen. Non-conference play really couldn't have gone any better for Ohio. The Cats knocked off Penn State in Week 1, captured a bunch of national attention. That will continue with an article in Sports Illustrated. Ohio rang the bell with another win over Marshall, and they took care of business in two take care of business games, knocking off New Mexico State and Norfolk State. If you take a look at the checklist of things to accomplish for the Cats, there's only one that's really left unchecked. After winning a bowl game last year, the next step is to win a MAC title. Of course, Ohio's a charter member of the MAC. The last time they won the league was back in 1968. Three times they've won the MAC East, but three times they've been left longing at the MAC championship game. So after last year's loss to Northern Illinois, and with so much coming back this year, the team adopted the unfinished business motto, and maybe this year's the year to get it done. UMass is stepping up in competition. Their first year in the MAC, they come from 1AA, and they were in the championship game in that classification. Back in 2006, they lost to Appalachian State pretty good program. 2007, they lost to my alma mater, Southern Illinois, in the playoffs. In 2010, they beat two ranked 1AA schools, and they put an Appy State scare into Michigan at the Big House, losing by just five. Just like it didn't take only a minute for the Bobcats to get back to the top of the MAC, it will take longer than a minute for the Minutemen to get their footing on the 1A level. Let's take a look at what they bring to the table. Here's a look at the 2012 UMass Minutemen. After going 5-6, and 6-5, six, six and 5-6 five and five and six in the last three years, UMass is 0-4 this year. Week 1 was a 37-0 loss at UConn in which the Minutemen only gained 62 yards. 16,000 showed up to see their first game in Foxborough in Week 2. It was a Hoosier blowout. Indiana won 45-6. Charlie Molnar was a well-traveled assistant coach. He's in his first season as UMass's head coach. At 0-4, Molnar says his team needs to stop shooting itself in the foot. Right now, we're not good enough to really overcome our mistakes. So the self-inflicted wounds, regardless if we've reduced them, they're still out there. We've got to really, really work to minimize our penalties, minimize our mental errors continue to play hard and I think good things will start to happen for it. The Minutemen average just 258 yards per game and give up 485. They're even in turnover margin, giving it up nine times this year, but average 65 yards per game in penalties. They then outscored 172 to 35. Six five redshirt freshman Mike Wegzen is their quarterback. Second down inside the red zone. It's a keeper. Wegzen up the middle. He's gonna go in and UMass responds. Touchdown, Minutemen. Michigan transfer Michael Cox has been an offensive bright spot at running back. He averages 75 yards per contest and has two TDs. Both came at Miami last week. He had 188 of the team's 471 yards. Defensively, they have five interceptions and five sacks. Senior linebacker Perry McIntyre leads their team in tackles with 38. It's the first meeting with Ohio, and Molnar says the Bobcats' week one win got his team's attention. They know how good Ohio is. I think the Penn State game really was an eye-opener for our players that don't quite know the Mid-American Conference. I think that was a great wake-up call to our football team that once we get through the preseason part of our schedule, when we get into the match schedule, uh, we've got our work cut out for us. The game is on ESPN3, but coverage on the People's Bank Ohio IMG Sports Network powered by Horizon starts off at the home of the New England Patriots at 2.30. Then we kick it off between the Bobcats and the Minutemen at 3.30. That's our game preview. It's Ohio and UMass Week 5 of 2012. For Chris Sable and the rest of the Bobcat TV crew, I'm Russ Eisenstein. This is Bobcat TV.